So you guys will be happy to know I'm finally doing the full day of eating today. So you guys will probably see it after this video. But I'm just realizing that uh, I should have charged my mics because, you know, this morning I was uh, using them for the, you know, full day of eating videos. And uh, yeah, they're pretty low. At least one, this one is. So uh, gosh, I hope it lasts for the whole workout. Usually they last for a while. So let's just hope for the best because other than that, yeah, it'll just be so loud in there and you guys won't be able to hear anything. Cause I know someone was saying like, oh, do they, do they even play music in your guys' gym? Because you guys don't hear it. Um, well, that's how good like the mics are. I'm picking up just like the voice and then I can kind of like mute away the music or the background noise, I guess you can say. So uh, let's just, uh, I hope it lasts. I don't know. Gosh, now I feel when that happens, it makes me feel like in a rush. So uh, uh, I guess we'll just hope for the best. Um, if anything, hmm. I don't know. Well, I'll figure it out, but now I'm kind of bummed. Um, okay. Well, today we're hitting legs and um, I'm like, gosh, I was almost like prolonging coming because I'm just getting nervous. I'm so nervous. But, you know, at the end of the day, I was like, nah, well, I mean, we're, I'm going to, I'm going to get it done today. So like, let's just go, let's just get it started and get going. But you know, it was uh, comforting to hear that you guys also get pretty nervous when it comes to leg day. And, uh, you know, because I think that's the thing is like, we can be nervous, we can get scared, but as long as we get that thing done, like, I feel like that says a lot in us overcoming that. And, you know, so it's just like, yeah, because I think it's funny when people are, I guess, maybe scared to say they're scared or nervous or something. And, you know, it's just like, I feel like that's very normal to feel. And, Sometimes, I don't know, just kind of uh, makes you feel a little bit of live, you know, because you're not numb and you're just like feeling all the feelings and uh, yeah, being nervous is one of them and it is uncomfortable uh, and uh, yeah, like my heart is like racing. So it's, it's funny. It's funny because it's like for people that I guess don't live, like it's probably like, man, it's just you going to the gym. Like what's going on? And then it's just like, well, no, no, like you don't understand, like, cause it's just like, you know, you know, you guys know, like if you don't push yourself, like you won't get the results you want. And for us to want the results we want, we have to push ourselves and we want to make us being in the gym count. So that's why we're already, we're already going in that mindset. So that's why we're getting nervous <laughs> and, uh, you know, we're not just going in there you know, lifting a few weights and stuff. Cause you know, I feel like, uh, for us, like we've been doing this a few years. So that's why it's like, no, we need to push ourselves, you know? Cause I, I, in the beginning, you know, figure out how to lift, figure out, you know, what feels good and all that stuff. And don't put so much pressure on like hitting PRs and all that, because yeah, like first you need to get your form down, but once you get your form down, everything feels comfortable and the rest is up to you pushing yourself like that. So when things get a little scary, <laughs> Um, but I mean, not trying to scare you guys, but I think you guys all get what I'm saying. It's, there's always that one, you know, body part that you're just like, oof, like I'm hitting that today. I'm like, I'm nervous, but excited and, you know, like hoping for the best. So that's what we're feeling today. And I'm hoping we get that Smith machine because you know how much I enjoyed it for my squats. So I'm hoping that, uh, it's open. Um, kind of debating if I want to start with that first, because if it's open, I just want to make sure that we use that today. Um, so I guess I'll see when I get in there, if it's crazy busy, uh, I might, I might start with the Smith machine first. Um, I prefer the hack squat because I feel like when I'm using the Smith machine, you know, since I'm trying to get as much depth as possible, we're going to be in such a stretched position. We've got to make sure we're really warmed up. So I don't know. I feel like when I use the leg press, I don't feel like, I feel like if anything, I don't feel like I'm going to like pull anything, you know, it's in a very stable position. You know, I feel like if anything, it helps me really like warm up my lower body because of how much I can just like slowly, you know, just do the reps and control and then later get into the working set. But, you know, maybe I'm just thinking too much into it. Oh, but first, no, but first we're going to do calves. Remember guys. <laughs> If you, if you neglect calves, start with that first. So we're going to do calves and then we'll figure out what's open.
So let's go ahead and jump in there and get started. Okay, so I guess I didn't record the first set. I thought I pressed record, but I didn't. So yeah, so we're just getting, you guys are getting the last set. And I was saying for that first set was really hard. I think I do prefer to start with leg press first and then come into these. But regardless, we're still pushing the weight that I pushed last time. And uh, yeah, I, uh, I felt like giving up the first three reps I did. And I just kept telling myself, you know what? You got two sets of this. You need to push yourself. You need to give up when you literally can't pick up the weight. Not when it's getting hard, you know, not when you feel like it's just, it's just hard and you feel sick. So, so yeah, and we did the eight reps and um they and i was saying too it's not a fluent eight reps i don't know if i'm doing a mental game within each rep but i have to tell myself each rep i'm like okay one more one more and then keep going so this is our last set and i'm hoping to finish with eight reps i'm gonna try my best i'm not i never want my mind to stop me before my body does because like i said i want a bigger lower body i need to put in the work because then it's like you know what if I have no room to complain if um, I know the reasons why I don't have a bigger body is because I wasn't really to push myself. And that's why too, I told my told you guys like, that's why I don't have that many sets. I don't do like four or whatever. It's at the end of the day, it's accumulative. Like it's all together. Like I do six to eight sets for that muscle group. And also just kind of like, there's no fluff or at least I don't feel like it's like, I want to make sure every set counts because I don't want to tell myself, oh, I have three more. I can just push myself the last two. Like, no, like these need to be hard and I need to get used to that feeling. So anyways, let's do the last set and I'm not going to lie. It's, it's, I'm scared. Thank you, Jumpy Rose. Remember, the weights have to be heavy, but so is our commitment to a collegiate. Please, if those dumbbells are safe, I'll let you know. And give them machines a quick wipe down after use. Thank you. Here we go. Oh, Yeah. That was a six reps. I'm not gonna lie, I forgot how much we did the last uh, time I hit legs. Maybe sometimes it's just because sometimes I'm just like, nah. If I think about that number, sometimes I'll stop at that number, you know? So I'm like, ah, I hit that for five, I'll just do five again. Sometimes I'm just like, you need to go, keep going so you can't go. But uh, I'll like look back at it and see. I'm like, geez, uh, I want to say, I want to say I push myself, but I don't know why I feel like I'm like, did I though? Because it's just your mind and body are like right there. And it's hard to tell. I'm debating, so the leg press is taken. I'm debating if doing one more set of these. 
<laughs> okay, I guess I'll see you then. I'll rest. So uh, you guys know that my hands get sweaty and uh, I always tell you guys that's another useful reason that straps or that I use straps and uh, we all know my hands get really sweaty when I'm doing leg press. So one of you guys suggested that I should try using them when I'm doing this and I had thought the same thing, but it's fun. I just feel a little silly using it for leg press because it's like all the movements going from like my lower body, but we are holding on and it does help when you have a good grip. So we're gonna try it out for the set. And uh, my quads are on fire. So we worked them really good with the, the squats. <laughs> so uh, this set might be really, really hard. I wanted to try it at least for one set and then we'll do a, a back off for the next one. I'm, I'm tempted to do three sets of leg press just because it's just like, uh, like I tell you guys, it's just like that, that um, debate that did I push myself enough? Like, did those really count? And it's a, it's, I don't know, something I have to, like, you have to know, you know, no one else can say, oh, no, it looked like you pushed yourself. Like, but deep down, I feel like, I feel like I didn't. I feel like I could have done more or something. So anyways, leg press, that's never a question. I know I'm able, like, I give it literally my all, maybe because I'm used to the movement. If you're secure, I know, I, I just know it. So maybe it's because I'm getting familiar with squats and stuff, so. I don't have that confidence to say that I really did. So anyways, let's get a good song going and uh, do this set. Oh. Oh, come on. Okay. Then, how did I lose count of that? And I think that was five. Um, so we're gonna drop the weight. I at least wanted to do this weight for one set. And I think we will do two more. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll, I'll see how much less I wanna do, but oh. See, it's funny, you guys say that I do a lot of weight for like press. Maybe because that's my first movement. So that's probably why, because me doing the second, you know, I am weaker and that's why you have to consider fatigue with your body, like all these other little factors. So, yeah. So, um, I mean, regardless, my quads are feeling great. The weight I'm usually doing is not it's not usual, so I guess I'm saying is like, don't let that ever determine if you've got to go work out or not. There's so many different factors to that. If you mix up the lifts and you're doing something that you usually do last, you're doing it first, you know, vice versa, all that stuff. But as long as you're pushing as hard as you can and you're doing it with your, you know, with great form, then that's all you can ask for. And it's just, it's just nice to know how much weight you usually push because it just will help you know if you really are, you know, progressing and uh, using that as a tool. So uh, I'll see you guys for the, the next set. Okay. Ooh. Yeah. 
I don't know. Just uh, it's funny. I really mentally have to like uh, check in with myself, I guess you can say. Um, just because, yeah, leg days are just that, but tough for me. Yeah. So, uh, okay, this will be our second working set. And uh, I wish I had those other straps. You guys might know which ones I'm talking about, like the better quality ones that it's just that little flap and uh, you can just do it once like this one. I don't, I don't use all of this, you know, I just wrap it around once. Um, Cause yeah. So yeah, it's kind of funny. It's, it's kind of hard to uh, wrap, but it, it kind of still helps from like the sweat you know that uh separation it gives it because of the material but it's still kind of tricky so i had trouble with that first set doing that anyways okay i'm gonna go ahead take it rep by rep Mine always do too. I feel like it's because of all the pressure. Um, but uh, yeah, especially on uh, leg days. But uh, okay. I think I'll take off the 25s. We'll do one more set. Yeah, but I'm glad that we did drop it for this one too. Oh, yeah, those uh, squats really killed us. So, uh, you know how I was uh, talking about my squats, how, you know, I felt like I did, you know, I did all right on them. I looked back at my last leg day video and uh, I went up 20 pounds and I didn't even notice. I, I thought... <laughs> I thought, see, this is maybe, see, I'm uh, realizing what I'm saying. I need to probably take my own advice or no, not take my own advice because I'm all saying, you know, sometimes I just try to do the same weight, not worry about it. I just try to push myself, but it's like, I did more weight. I thought I did that weight last time. For some reason I had a, a plate and 25 on each side for this day. And then the last leg day, it was just a plate, a tent or a 15, I mean, a play in a 15. And um, so yeah, I uh, hit a PR and I was getting down on myself because I thought that I did, if anything, the same as last time. And it was getting to me. And then I'm just like, oh man, even these are hard because it's like, I literally pushed myself on like on squats and, and I was getting mad, not mad at myself, but like, you know, disappointed because I thought I didn't. Um, so this just shows me I probably need to be aware of the weight I'm pushing and, um, you know, cause obviously look, I, uh, it kind of mentally messed up with me today. And, um, so anyways, squats were good. We did a, we did a PR without even knowing it. 
And, uh, and no wonder why I felt heavy. Yeah, I was like, why does this feel so heavy? I don't remember last time feeling this heavy. So, so yeah, now I'm all like rethinking that whole lift and how it all went about. So, um, I technically shouldn't do one more set. We did do a solid two sets over there, solid two sets here. And then we should probably just move it to the leg extension. Oh, but it's so hard. I see, like, I have to stop myself from wanting to do more. <laughs> um, so we're just going to do one more. We're just going to do one more. It's fine. Oh, God. Yeah, just because, uh, you know, those two sets before that, um, they were in the lower rep range, so it's fine to do another one. So, okay. Um, I know it's less weight, but I'll still use the strap. I feel like it, uh, it's taking me a little hassle to uh, get these straps situated, but, uh, they do help though. They do. Okay. Leg extensions. Yeah. crazy uh, I know it's like cheesy how people say mindset is everything but when you catch yourself and it's just like a switch you kind of like laugh at yourself you know because what I thought was like an okay leg day today realizing that uh my quads are performing way better than I was thinking they would by now um yeah because I feel like before the bulk ends I'm sure we can hit like two plates for squats and I've never hit that way before ever. So uh, it's just funny to realize like, cause I wasn't, I wasn't like happy with today. And then now I'm just like, wow, I'm so happy how today went. Like, it's just, it's crazy how it is all up here in, in here. And uh, we, uh, we do let certain things determine if we're gonna be happy for that moment or whatever it is, you know, cause not saying like, just cause you have bad lift doesn't mean like your whole day has to be ruined, but it does get to you. <laughs> You know, it does get to you saying like, oh man, like what's wrong body? Like, you know, you're just like, sometimes, yeah, you don't know your body's going to respond then like differently than what your mind wants it to do, you know? So it's funny when it does the opposite where you thought your mind was like, ah, like, uh, it's not doing so good. And then you're like, whoa, my body did better than I thought it could. So yeah, it's a, it's just a funny thing. So this is gonna be the last set. I'm going to do a little drop set. Okay. So I'll get into it. Yeah. 
We're just one more thing and we're done for today. So if you've been lifting for a while and you haven't incorporated these, at least do two sets of them. Trust me, like if you want your legs to look nice and thick, this is gonna help you. Um, yeah, so I'm glad I started incorporating these too. And I do feel like they're helping with my overall like lower body strength as well, because um, you know, their adductors are gonna be working really hard when you're in the hole, when you're doing like squats and stuff. And when you're pushing, doing the leg press, all that, you know, lower body movements. So this will be my second set and I'll do another one after this one. But uh, after this set, I'll, I'll just see you guys in the car. But I'll go ahead and just get started. Okay. This felt good. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the car. I'm gonna do one more. So we made it and the mics didn't die on us. So, so that was a, a good leg day. I mean, like I was saying on the leg press or was it, I don't know, somewhere in the gym, I, uh, I was like getting on myself, like disappointed with how squats felt because I'm just like, man, why do they feel so heavy? Like, oh, am I, am I getting weaker? Like what's going on? And I was like getting in my head and then it was like, you know, I was feeling like, man, this is going to, it's not a great workout, but I'll do my best. And I was trying to like get myself out of that headspace, but it was like bothering me. And then, so during my resting, I was uh, going back. So I'm just like, oh, well, how many reps did I do with that weight last time? Like, let me just look. And <laughs> I'm so silly. Like I had like 20 pounds more weight this time than I did last time. And for some reason I thought I was doing the same weight. So not realizing that this is the most weight I've ever pushed and yeah like and I was being hard on myself I was being like man that wasn't good that wasn't good enough like oh we need to do another set and you know and so with all that saying like man like it's crazy how with us not knowing something and being kind of like objective, like we can tell ourselves you're not doing enough. You're not pushing yourself hard enough. Like look, look and like just being like so negative. And that's why sometimes <laughs> you need to like take a step back and be like, okay, am I doing everything I can? Am I getting stronger? Am I doing, that's why I tell you guys all the time. Like if you're getting stronger, you are getting better. Like that is a, it's a, it's a sign that, you know, you are pushing yourself, your muscles are getting stronger. You're, you're doing your best. And because like I can, you know, fall short of that and be in that mindset, like, oh, I'm not doing my best. Like, look at like all that stuff. But, and then I tell you guys too, I don't write down the weight I put, like maybe this actually shows me that I need to be aware <laughs> of the weight I'm pushing because then I can uh, realize like, you know, I need to 
you know, that, to see where I'm at. Um, but to be fair, squats isn't my usual lift. So that's probably why, like, I wasn't sure what the weight I was doing because with all my other lifts, like, I know the weight because I've been doing them for so long. And I already know, like, okay, this, this is what my usual is. And, you know, I'm progressing with this, like, you know, all that stuff. So if you're new to the gym, please, yeah, write down or record yourself, whatever you need to do to document your strength or your progress or even like your form, anything, you know, because even you getting better at something form wise is good. And, you know, so just with all of that, just, you know, feeling kind of silly, like myself, like I'm feeling silly. I'm like, man, like today was honestly a, an amazing leg day. And I would have left the gym thinking I didn't do good enough, you know? And so that's why it's, it's crazy that, you know, <sighs> Cause that, that's also like in life, like we can tell ourselves like, oh, I'm not doing good enough, not doing good enough. And like, but it's just like, Hey, like, let's take the emotions out of it. And like, literally look, are you doing everything you can? And is it showing? Because it is showing, like I was getting stronger. I am doing better. And then also vice versa. Like if you're not getting stronger and you're not doing that, like take a step back and say like, you know what? I haven't been eating enough. I have been starving when I go to the gym and I'm trying to get stronger and, and get more mass on me. I do need to eat more. I need to, like, I'm visually looking that I'm not eating enough. You know, I'm putting that down or even, you know, with, with anything in life, you know, you, you want something, are you doing everything you can to get there? And yeah, like, you might take some time and also like, is it, is it getting there? Is it getting closer? Because things like this, you know, like you have to be patient, but as long as you're seeing like those little, you know, steps that it's moving forward, then you're on the right track, you know? And I've, I've learned to like, we should just be kind to ourselves. Like, I feel like we can, like, I feel like there's that moment where you, you do get, tired of where you're at you know like you just like you know what I don't want to stay here I need to do something like I want to change the way I look I want to change the way I feel something you know and it's just like you you snap out of it and you're just like I need to do something I'm so like I'm tired of this but I feel like once you get there and you do have that realization you know don't stay in that negative mind space like <laughs> did I say my space mine yeah like that I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, so don't stay in that like headspace, you know, because it's not, I mean, to me, I'm just like, I don't feel like it does us any good. I think there's that moment where you're, yeah, you, you need to like be real with yourself and then enjoy the rest. Like if you're putting in, I guess I'm saying if you're putting in the work, enjoy the journey, you know, like right now I... I do have my moments where I'm just like, oh man, like, you know, I didn't do this or that. And I'm like, I'm like beating myself up in my head, but you know what, realizing I need to take a step back and I did do what I, my body, you know, like, honestly, my body surprised me today. And that's why I told you guys too, like, I, I, I'm, I'm like sad that I didn't give myself enough credit to, to believe in myself back then. You know, I, I, uh, assumed my body was different for some reason. I assumed I would never get to where I wanted to get, that oh, my body's not capable of that. But it's like, did we even give our, our body a chance? Did we even give ourselves a chance, you know, with anything? And it's like, if you can honestly say, no, I didn't, then it's just like, then man, then like be excited for what's to come because you will, you know, surprise yourself for sure. I'm still surprising myself right now. And, you know, I've been doing this for a long time, but like I said, I haven't been honest with myself. I haven't really gave myself a serious like bulk. So it's like, how do I expect to get stronger and better when, you know, I really haven't been putting in the calories because it is uncomfortable to be a little heavier. And, you know, I'm not going to lie, these past few days, I have been feeling a little uncomfortable, like seeing my face like fluffier and stuff. It's like, it does get to me sometimes. And then also wearing like normal clothes. <laughs> It's just like, hmm, these don't fit me how they usually do. And like, you know, it, it does, it does get to me, but I'm just like, you know what? Like my body is literally performing amazing. And I'm just happy that it's doing that because, you know, that's all I can ask for, you know? So it's just, just a lot to think about, but you know, if you need to change something and you need to be like honest with yourself, you know, it is crazy what our emotions can 
can like stir up, you know? So if you visually like need to like put things down so you can like, that's why, I mean, that's why I guess people have coaches because your emotions can really dictate like what you're going to do next or how you're going to handle something. So if you need to like write down, you know, what you're physically doing to get to your goals, please do it because honestly, you might be surprised. You're probably doing what you need to do and it's like showing progress and, you know, being kind to yourself through that journey because, you know, the journey might be long, so might as well enjoy it. And yeah, there's no reason to like beat yourself up about things and think that, you know, you need to like suffer to get somewhere. I don't know. I don't think so. Cause like, you know, this whole us lifting and getting stronger and better, like it's going to take many years and I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to suffer through all those years. You know, we might have a bad day, we might have a bad lift, but, uh, I don't, I don't know. I'm, uh, wanting to be like in a more happier mind, like mindset on the whole thing. And I feel like we all deserve that, you know? So just, uh, something to think about if you guys haven't been you know, putting those things down and taking a, a look at that, like, maybe you should do it, especially if you're, you are hard on yourself, you know, so anyways, I'm going to get home, finish the, um, you know, what I eat in a day video. And yeah, then we'll have a chest tomorrow and biceps and, uh, what else? Shoulders. Yeah. So I'm excited for tomorrow. Also, um, I was like t telling you guys which you'll see the next video. Um, I don't know. I feel more vulnerable. <laughs> you guys like hanging out with me while I'm showing you guys what I eat and at my house hanging out. Like it's just a, it's a different vibe for me. I'm not used to it. So I feel like in the beginning of the video, I'm like, I feel kind of awkward. I'm not going to lie. You can probably notice. Um, I mean, hey, if you go back to these videos in the very beginning, I'm awkward. I mean, I'm probably still awkward. I don't know. Um, it's just something I'm getting used to because I'm just like the gym. I don't know. For some reason it is easier. I do feel comfortable working out, of course. Um, so it's just easier because I think it's like I have my uh, set plan. Like, okay, I'm going to do this lift. We're going to do this. And then I just like share tidbits of like what my thought process is. So when I'm like cooking my foods and stuff, I'm just like, wait, do you guys want to know how I make it or what I'm eating? Like, I don't know. I guess I'm trying to figure out that happy medium. Cause I'm just like, I feel like I caught myself like explaining like the recipe, but then I'm like, wait, you guys are just wanting to know what I eat. Like why I'm, you guys don't need to know what I'm like literally, you know, putting in there, I, I guess. I don't know, like, you know, spices and stuff. So, um, yeah, who knows? Maybe the videos, you know, I mean, you guys tell me if you enjoyed it, if you enjoyed it and if you want something like, if you're expecting something different from it, let me know, um, you know, because we didn't go to the store or anything. I, I grabbed everything I needed, and then I show you guys, like, okay, this is what I eat, and this is how I make it, and all that stuff. So, I hope you guys enjoy that one, too, um, because if you did, I mean, if you do, <laughs> then I'll do more of them, you know, because it's not like every day looks exactly the same. But I told you I did my ideal bulking day, like what I do like to eat. So, um, yeah. Okay, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll do that video or like you guys will see the next one. <laughs> so we'll see. Okay, bye guys.